okay. Rich, do you need help getting home? Nope. Well. Welcome to Colorado. What? Oh, ah. What happened over here? What's in the morning? Huh? Uh, yeah, I was in the morning. Let him, let him take it easy. Come on, it's see him in the morning. He's coming here. You can come by and see me Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, as we uh, learned, the Mishnah Yaimis sponsored the Ilanishmas of Rami Shayab and Shmar Yo Yosef, the Fushalema for the Yomash Mechay Sara, for the Schus of Abram Binyam Benish, Ben Malkyudis, and family. By the Fisher family, Ilanishmas, Fasi Bas Rabbit Shlom, and Ben Abram Alevi, Peril Bas Ruvain. By Yol Kugman and family, for the Parnasa Bereva Chuvachavit, for Hayelet Ben Chava. Avigdur Aye ben Rivka, Mayor ben Chay Sara, and Isser ben Rezel, David Yitzchok ben Yehuda, they should have a Rafu Shalema, Mishrech Sharchei the Yisrael. We're learning the last Mishnah in the fifth parak of Yevamas, uh, again telling us the different configurations. Uh, and it's going back as a summation with one Yavam and one Yavama. That's Mishnah Vav, by the way, in the fifth parak. One Yavam and one Yavama. Ruvain was married to Sarah. Uh, Ruvain died childless. Sarah falls to Shimon. So Chalatz, once Shimon does Chalitza with Sarah, then Asa Maimer Nasan Get Ubal, he, he made a Maimer, gave a Get, and did the Bia. Uh, the Zika is off already with the uh, chalitza, and therefore uh, the bia uh, is just an iser of kevin shaloi bonus shuv ena boina. It doesn't make uh, Sarah his wife. Oi bal, or if he did bia with her, making her his wife, he fulfilled the mitzvah of yibam, then osamayim of an osam get the chalitz, that doesn't do anything. So, ain't after chalitza club. After chalitza, there is nothing. Bein betchila, where the chalitza is done in the beginning, that surely removes the zika. Bein beemtza, bein besayf. Even if the chalitza comes after giving a get, and it's an you might think it's an impaired chalitza because the get impairs the zika. Makes no difference. The chalitza severs the uh, zika completely. Even if you did a bunch of things before you gave a get and a mimer, you gave chalitza, the chalitza severs the relationship. Uh, there's no more, of course, if you gave the mimer before the chalitza, you would need a get for the mimer, but it means that even though the chalitza follows a lot of things, it, the chalitza completely severs the zika. So, um, uh, the the but vabila bia however can get impaired. So bismanchi betchila if you do bia with sara shimon does bia with sara first give alvik that's yibam that's marriage then einachra klum 
That's it. They're already husband and wife. But emtza b'seif. But if the bia follows a get, uh, whether uh, you gave a get and then bia in the middle, or you did a bunch of things and you gave bia at the end, since that's rabbinically an impaired bia, yeshach klum. You're going to still need chalitza afterwards. That's the opinion of Rabbanan, which we paskin like. Reb Nechemi, I mean, Reb Nechemi says, even if you give a get before, if you do bia, bia severs the zika completely, just like chalitza. Reb Nechemi, I mean, achas be'ilav, achas chalitza, be'en betchila, be'en be'emtza, be'en mesayf, e'en achrei aklum, the bia severs the chalitza entirely, but the halacha is not like Reb Nechemi. And now we start the sixth parak, which uh, is easier. Habal Yavimtai. If Reuven is married to Sarah, Reuven dies childless, and Shimon s- sleeps with Sarah, Bein Mishaykeh, whether he did it by mistake, he thought she was someone else. He thought it was his wife. He didn't realize he was fulfilling the mitzvah of Yibam. Bein Bemezid. Or he did it because he lost it for her. He didn't do it to fulfill the mitzvah. Bein Be'ainis, if he did it he was coerced to do it. Or if he did it to fulfill the mitzvah. Afilu, even if they both had the wrong idea. Afilu, who's shaykeh? He thought she was someone else. And she was just engaging in a lustful fling. Who made it? He was lustful. He shaykeh, and she thought he was someone else. Who on this? He was cursed. He la'anusa. She wasn't cursed. She did it for lust. Or she thought it was someone else. He anusa. She was forced. Who lie on this? He did it because he was a mistake or he was lustful. And Echana Ma'ora, even if he only did initial penetration, or according to one opinion, even if their genitalia just touched the Echana Gaimer or complete a beer, Kana, either way he acquires her, she's his wife and he fulfills the mitzvah of Yibam, Vele Cholak Ben Bia La Bia. And it makes no difference if it was natural beer or unnatural beer. Even anal sex will fulfill the mitzvah and acquire her. Uh, we do have sponsors, two sponsors for this week for um, the Chomesher. Uh, if somebody wants to sponsor the second Chok later on this week, uh, you can do so. Also, we want to let you know that uh, I added some, I added a shear on Toldos on YouTube from 2012. Real golden oldie. Check it out. Remember to subscribe and to like. Thank you very much for joining us and have a wonderful evening.